Hi there, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. We have been putting flooring in for the last few days. Took out the carpet. I mentioned it in a couple videos ago. Dogs and carpet. No moss. <laughs> so just some, you know, vinyl, but it's obvious. My hips and back are not the hips and back of my 25-year-old self. So recovery time is extended. <laughs> So anyway, that's why I've been, we've been busy doing that and cleaning and just putting everything back together. But it's all done. It looks great. So we're happy about that. And the weather here is shifting. It was really had a late summer, but now it's starting to get really cool and uh, windy. And it was really rainy yesterday. It was like Hawaii outside. I mean, wind and waves. Uh, so today I'm going to check in. We had, we just had the weekend of Trump rallies where he decided that and declared Kamala is mentally disabled, and she was born that way. Joe Biden, actually, it, he became more mentally disabled, but Kamala, it was something that happened to her before birth. I'm sure it has something to do with her nationality or her ethnicity. That's He's implying that. Uh, so I wanted to look into his um, impact with that. I know he's getting scared because a person, when they get scared, they get desperate. They get He's cornered like a dog, a scared dog in a corner. So he's throwing everything at it. Even his um, allies are saying, stop talking about that. Start talking about the economy or Im immigration. And he does talk about immigration, but in the most um, negative and uh, racist way. Um, because, yes, immigrants cause crime. Illegal immigrants cause crime. White People that were born here, generationally been living here, they cause crime. Crime is committed by, by in the higher um, ratios by people who are native-born people, not immigrants. Just saying. So it happens, but of course that feeds that fear, the fear, the fear, the fear. So he's scared, and so I wanted to get into um, the energy of him. For one, to see how he's feeling really and truly. I, I think I know, but I'm going to do that more directly. But also, how is the economy? Because the Dow's going up and he's not, doesn't seem to be talking about it. He says everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket as soon as we're all going to, the, the world is ending as soon as Harris gets to be president and everything's going to be terrible. So I wanted to see how that's affecting people, his base. Are they still hearing the immigration talk? I mean, truly, or are they seeing any difference in the economy? I have friends that are telling me that, like my age or a little older, that are really struggling with in, um, inflation and how expensive things are. And both of them have homes. I can't imagine. I know my sons pay rent, and it just keeps going up and up, and my nephew. So it's super expensive. So the housing crisis is, is it, there's a delayed um, but there's a long time before we can fix that, but I just want to check into his base too. So him, what's happening with him and his base and how they see him. I also wanted to see somebody, a couple of people had asked if Eric Adams indictment would, uh, affect the democratic ticket. If people, um, in the state Senate, congressional seat, state Senate, whatever it is, would be affected by his arrest or his indictment. And if he's going to back down or resign, I'm going to check into Eric Adams again. And the debate is tomorrow. Walls and Vance. And maybe by the time I post this, it'll be today. So we'll see. But last time I did it, I felt like it was a mixed bag. People, but I feel like it's going to be kind of a shouting fest in a way. I feel like they're both going to be yelling. And I don't know if the mics are going to get cut off or not. I don't know the rules. But I do feel like they will be yelling over the sound loud enough so we'll be able to hear them even if the mics are cut off. Um, yeah, I'm going to check into that and see if anything's changed with the energy between those two or, or if the strategies for each of the campaigns have shifted some of that energy. Um, yeah, and whoops. I've got a client here in a little bit, so I'm going to record this. In, um, oh, yeah, one more thing. I had talked about past life regression. I did a video um, a couple last week or whatever it was. 
about past life regression just to kind of demystify it, explain it, and share how it works and how easy it is. And really, it's pretty natural. It's just cutting off that conscious mind so you can understand what you're seeing, what you're feeling, and get all that relief, get all that um, information, your memories are conscious that you hold within you, and your soul has it, and you have access to your soul's information. Like I said, it's miraculous. It has so much power. But somebody had said, oh, you do it. I wish you lived closer. Well, I don't live near most people. So, but, well, we are going back to Arizona here in about a month. But I do past life regression and hypnotherapy remotely. You would find yourself a quiet space in your own home um, where you are not being disturbed. And you would just have your computer on. Your eyes are closed anyway once we get into that state. And I can watch you from, you know, from my viewpoint and talk you through it and guide you so and it's really quite similar there isn't much difference in being in person honestly in fact I think it might be easier because you're in a place that you're comfortable in whether it's your bedroom or a living room or wherever it is you're in your own space versus coming to a, my home and in a foreign and it, you know you have a lot of that stimulus that it doesn't feel natural for you so I think it's even better. Anyway, I wanted to clarify that. All right, that was a very large, um, a very long beginning. Let's get going. Okay, I think I got my microphone figured out. It was really quiet at the beginning, so I apologize <laughs> ahead of time. Um, but it looks like it'll be fine now. All right, uh, so let's start out with Trump. First of all, oh wait, thank you to all my subscribers. And my lovely commenters and viewers. I know I have a set of some hardcore ones that keep coming back and I love so. it. Wonderful. Creating our little community here, so it's great. All right, so I'm gonna look into Trump. When I sat in his energy briefly before I started this, I got the five of wands, which we know, well, maybe you don't, but that's challenges, fighting, just agitation. Sometimes it's not really bad, but sometimes it's very negative and I feel like I feel like it's his people and him, not so much even, um, it, you know, I think it's just him, like, just frustrated as heck, you know, um, yeah, but I got into his energy, and I do feel like if I can get into Trump's energy, and, oh gosh, okay, I feel like there's a wall in front of me, like, there's a white area, like, he feels like he's got to get over this hurdle, and uh, it doesn't feel frustrated. It feels more like, how can I do it? Like, what is the method? Um, I see there's lots of divots. And in the past with his broken melting cake, with if some of you haven't been here before, I see him as his cake is broken. It's all over the floor. It's his previous... Actually, good name has been, or fairly good name, from years and years now it's broken. And his um, energy is just splitting and breaking. And um, he's he's running out of ideas. But I see Jack Smith, you know, he put that trough before the election sometime in October, which is here, like tomorrow. And I see him actually seeing that I see him seeing that trough I see him seeing like so if he he has this like maze of dips and things all over that Trump feels like okay I gotta step over here and miss that one I've got I can't fall into this hole I gotta go over there to so he's really avoiding these potholes kind of but they're not in a road they're just like spread out like wide like all over the land and um and his cake isn't isn't melting. In fact, I feel like it's gotten more hard. Maybe it's drying out. Maybe it's going stale. It's been sitting too long on the floor. I don't know, drying out. The breeze is making it dry out, but he's really concerned, but not like, I know he gets angry. He's got a temper, but it's more like he's, I'm just going to figure it out because that's how he lives his life. But it's also this magical thinking, but he's a manifester give him credit he's a manifester 
So he's looking for money. He's losing money. Um, he see the fish on the bottom. That is, you know, his money being eaten away and not coming back. And um, justice, the scales there are taking that money away. So he's really upset about courts taking all that money that from his fines and his um, fees, things that he has to pay back from um, from the E. Jean Carroll case, thirty four million or whatever crazy amount, and he's been putting that off and appealing it, and I think it got reduced, but still, he does not want to lose that money. Money, money, money is very important to him. Just happened to look down Nine of Swords. He's really concerned. So. Well, the question is, is will his rhetoric, his constant lies about immigration, and they all have a kernel of truth to them. So that's why I think people, well, also people can be racist. So do they affect them? Do they affect his voters? Yes. I see them seriously believing him. His MAGA, his, his. Hardcore MAGA people. So if I'm in their energy and I'm looking at him, I feel like he's very like godlike. Like from as a MAGA person, I see him up on the stage and he is, for, I hear cult leader, but I also feel godlike. Like he, like a light is shining from him. They see him as that powerful and that wise, I don't know if wise is the right word, a strong leader, um, a fighter, that he's going to fight for them, and he's the only one that seems to have the guts to do that from their perspective. Um, I've said this in the past, I, I feel sorry for that little boy that was Donald Trump when he was a baby or two years old. I know he got his heart got destroyed and his little soul got annihilated. So he had to, to survive. He had to change how he thinks just to live in this world. And, and it's created money for him and created a life for him. But I wonder what he would have been like growing up in a different family. Maybe the same, who knows? I don't know, but not as near as bad. I don't think um, he might've grown a conscience because I think that was destroyed out of him. Okay, so I see them looking at him, believing in that immigration problem, and they're scared, and he's in creating that fear. He's pushing, pushing, pushing. He's trying to get those um, immigrants or, like, minority votes. And they're scared, too, because they know that other immigrants that commit crimes, like, I think they can see that. Or they feel that that's a possibility for people that are desperate and they understand that. It's different even though than like somebody that's a naturalized citizen or natural citizen that's say a white person in any. They're scared that people are going to come in marauders and kill and rape like Vikings coming in and kill and raping everything and stealing everything. But not without. That's what the white version is. But the minority people know the desperation that immigrants have and they look at it a different way and they actually see it as a possibility more a uh, different possibility type and then the economy they many of the maga people i see them working like in factories and assembly lines and mechanics and doing farming And I don't think, I do feel like they see him, I don't think they think he's going to save the economy. I feel like they understand that he's not good at that. Um, I think they look to him as somebody that's going to just put a hard line on certain things like immigration, crime, um, saying no to foreign uh, investments. Although this is what they see. I'm t telling you that it's truthful. I'm just saying that's what they see. And that he's a leader and he doesn't, 
he's the one that has the the balls to do it. And even though he's rough around the edges, we need that right now. That's what they're thinking. Will they change their minds when Harris wins? I think they'll be very depressed and sad and find fault everywhere and see where everything is bad. You know, what you believe to be true is true. So if you decide everything is horrible, everything's horrible. If you decide I will never get a job, I will never um, have a nice home or a relationship, you won't because you've decided that. And maybe some circumstances, your beliefs have erupted from circumstances in your life, but they don't have to stay there. But a person's, it's hard to let go of those beliefs that that's what the reality is. So when she wins, oh, I do see crime, but not so much about Trumpy or MAGA people flipping out. I feel like people will take advantage, go, oh, she won, so we can do anything we want. That's the feeling I get. Not the MAGA people, but criminals. Like they're not going to prosecute us or something, or it's a free for all. I don't know what that's about. I know there'll be protests, there'll be complaints, there'll be court. Anyway, it'll be dark after the, and not in a, not like January 6th, but it will be, there'll be all these separate instances, like pockets of things everywhere. Okay, let me see this again. Death. But I don't, it's an end of a, end of a cycle. So we talk about this quite often. Pluto's going to be going, it's in, uh, it's reverted back to Capricorns. We're getting that last little, flourish of fear and anxiety and the old world and make America great again. And now we're going into the new era at the end of no or mid November. So that's how I'm looking at it. It's the death of an era a death, a death of um, some of the institutions that are set up for greed and um, hierarchy or not able to help impoverish people, but more about money, ambition, um, success, and tangible stuff, you know, like boats and planes, planes and stuff. We're going to go into Aquarius and we have been, it's, it's, um, stepping into it permanently now in November. It's been this way for a couple, three years, and it's going to be more about humanity on a whole community, helping each other, um, technology, things that we can make life easier for a lot of people instead of just the upper elite rich people. Next subject, Eric Adams. He got arrested and indicted on bribery and foreign countries influence. And several people had asked that if his arrest and indictment will affect the ticket, the democratic ticket, the local and state and national. Um, like one, does one bad apple spoil the whole bunch girl? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, things leach into the next, huh? Like we're all connected. Um, and some other people had said, you know, he was already, I'm sorry, I'm closing my eyes so I can see. I get into his energy. Uh, yeah, he's thinking about resigning. He doesn't want to, but he thinks he may have to. He actually, it's in a positive thing. He's thinking about the city. I know it doesn't seem like it's that much right now, but he is. He's actually what would be good for the city. And I think there's a lot of pressure on him from the um, party and local leaders to step aside so they can get things done. So this is October 1st. Or when you see this, it will be October 1st. And he doesn't want to. Like I see like in three weeks, maybe, maybe towards the third week of October. Um, four of, four of, he's, it feels like he's married. It feels like it's a celebration, like he's married to this job. He doesn't want to leave, maybe it, he doesn't want to leave the party, party, or the party. Not that he has to leave the party, but he doesn't want to leave it. So he's deciding. 
He's like, uh, I think he's in my mind. I think I see him trying to salvage some things that he feels like are very important to him and his name. Um, yeah, he did a bunch of crappy stuff, but he also has this other stuff that he feels like he needs to salvage. He needs to work on those. I don't know if it's, you know, local projects or, uh, you know, new legislation. All right. Death. Yeah, he's going to, he is going to leave, I would say, third week of October. That's my guesstimate. But how will he affect, how will this indictment, this arrest, affect the rest of the ticket? Um, yeah, I guess he, got a bunch, here, there are people around him. Um, ticket. I'm looking at the ticket from the New York voter. Um. Well, he, I think it will affect some people for sure. I feel like they don't trust now. I mean, there's already a distrust for government leaders, but I think that it's so close to the election. I wonder if they think who knows who's right and rumors are going to be flying and um, misinformation or disinformation from the Republicans or that whoever it is that's opposing the Democrats. Maybe there's independence. I don't know. I think they will. It will affect. Will it affect it enough? No. But there's something right here. What is that? Okay. I see the ticket. I see the president. That's That's different. I do feel like there is some effect but not enough it'll still be Harris but there's something over here like judges or um, local con uh, council people something like that definitely is going to affect those that's very vague but I feel like it's the local leaders the local administrations uh, citywide people and state where they're going to question things. And I think they, I almost get the feeling they're going to say, no, everybody gone. All the incumbents gone. Yeah, that's how I think it is going to be. But that's more local. I don't know if AOC is running. But she's not going to be hurt by this. Um, people that are already in their position, like state senators, I don't think will be hurt. It's more local people, judges, clerks, councilmen, that kind of stuff. That'll definitely be hurt. Okay, so the debate, the debate, the debate, August uh, or October 1st, today, and in the past I said I saw it with, they both were yelling at each other, and um, <laughs> Jim Gaffigan played Tim Walls. They're both from Minnesota, which is very interesting. Jim Gaffigan looked like he'd lost some weight, too, by the way. Um, but, yeah, they, if I'm I'm the moderator, I feel like the moderator will ask more pointed questions. They're going to question both of them, their answers. Um, they don't want to look like they're too one-sided. Um, I mean, I don't think they were last time, but for the presidential debate, but... It's going to be on CBS, so it's a different news group. And I feel like Walls is here, Vance is here. I don't know if that'll be accurate or not, but um, how will the country? Vance will bring up a ton of stuff that uh, manipulating the question, like he he won't answer it directly. Walls will do the same sort of thing politicians do that where you're asked a question and they say well yeah that's an important thing but how about this and then they move on and they don't actually answer the question and I think the moderators are going to push for that they're going to say well I asked you this can you please answer the question I think they're going to act to both of them so I think they both will get called out a little bit both sides will look like it's going to be a mixed bag I mean if you are already a Walls Harris person you're going to 
yeah seven of cups so it'll be confusing there'll be an illusion of this or that the tower okay so some big change you know what that was happened last time when i got that's very interesting when i got the presidential debate cards the tower came up for trump or harris but this time i just was thinking in both um is there actually a building thing? Like a problem physical with the building? Some sort of last minute change, maybe. Hmm. I know the uh, Walls and Harris campaign needs to get men on board. And I've already said this. I think they're going to look, there's this King of Wands. He's going to look like he's a strong, stable, quote unquote, dad guy um, for some of those middle America um, regular dudes who will look to, to Walls and say, okay, you're like me more than I thought you were. Um, and they're going to be making that decision. Actually, some of them may not like him more. Yeah, and Nine of Cups. Vance. Oh, wow. There we are with the lions again. So the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Fire, fire, fire. Um, maybe he'll bring up his wife quite a bit. Page of Pentacles and Strength. Again with the lion. We have got lions coming out the yin yang strength so i think vance is going to look a little bit stronger i didn't realize that but I, I think he's still going to do the misinformation dance but i think there'll be a more like maybe it's a strength in like get rid of every migrant get rid of every um law that is manipulated by the Democratic Party and then we as Republicans yeah I think there might be a, a, a shift a little bit will it make a difference in the long run no Vance's uh, hooked his trailer to the Trump train so I don't think it's going to make a difference I think actually he might win a few voters believe it or not walls um, will as well I think there are some un <clears throat> I changed my mind now that I'm looking at it. I think he will actually surprise some people, surprise some voters. Um, I think men will be watching this debate. Well, women will too, but men, 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 men. I think that was it. Okay. Uh, Hurricane Aline, horrible, horrible. Mm -hmm. And it happened so fast. I don't know if people had time or if they, it's just so rapid and just, they said they got 30 inches just that day. It's like shocking how fast it went. Yeah. And somebody um, asked me about doing past lives or um, getting to the soul of Janis Joplin. Well, that's my personal one. Uh, Jim Morrison and Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a video where I'm getting into their energy. Janis Joplin, I loved her and I loved... And then Chris Christopherson just passed away. Maggie Smith. I'm one of these people saying, well, there's a third one. It kind of happens that way. It's really weird. So not always, but there might be a third famous person. But he wrote me and my Bobby McGee, and she sang that. And it was so popular, and I loved that song when I was a kid. But Janis Joplin, I found, like was a sympathetic character. Very, so much depth to her, and it was a tragic loss that she left us when she did. I'm going to look into some of those. Um, thank you for the suggestion. Okay, till next time, you guys. Take care.